increasing number of leaders around the world, the only way to create a genuine shift in the paradigm for Gaza is to disarm Hamas and make a long-term investment in economic development. Any process to resolve the crisis in Gaza in a lasting and meaningful way must lead to the disarmament of Hamas and all terrorist groups. The best solution really is to have a long-term ceasefire uh, with removal of the siege and with economic uh, and social development. Since Israel pulled out of Gaza in 2005, a disastrous pattern has emerged. Hamas launches missiles at Israel. Eventually, the Israeli Defense Forces retaliate with devastating campaigns in Gaza, which they say are designed to root out the danger posed by the military wing of Hamas. Then Israel clamps down, restricting movements in and out of Gaza. The local economy withers. Hamas uses the aid money it receives to buy more weapons. The Palestinian people suffer. And this is a tragedy of what we see today. Hamas do not believe in the reality of two states. Hamas do not believe in diplomacy. So the money went to create military infrastructure. It is possible to create a better future in this part of the world. Just look at the West Bank town of Ramallah, where the Palestinian Authority, not Hamas, is in charge. Many people here still complain bitterly about Israel's security restrictions. But business flourishes, construction is booming. What we see in the West Bank today, this is demilitarization. This sort of structure, disarmament for development, seems logical. But in Gaza, there are two very different visions for the future. I was Hamas. I uh, was in the Israeli jail. I have a bullet in my neck. And I'm asking and calling for a peace and uh, calling to stop this war, enough, not more blood.